Talisha today. So today I got a quick video for you guys on how to make garden markers. So if you guys like to do gardening, this will be a perfect video for you. So first what you want to do is you want to get your, um, your cut file for your garden marker. You guys can get this on my website. Um, I'll put the link in the description if you guys want to purchase it. So if you know you're going to make multiple one of these, then you could just take your file and highlight it. You can highlight your file and then just do copy and then paste it as many times as um, the amount of vegetables or whatever that you're going to be planting. So it doesn't have to be vegetables, but... If you're going to say make onions, tomatoes, basil, or I should say plant. So if you're going to plant onions, tomatoes, basils, you can make three of these. So let's get started. I'm going to delete that one. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to text. And then you're going to put what you're going to be making. So in this case, I'm going to put... Um, you want to put what you're going to be planting or what you want to make this um, garden marker. So in this case, I want this one to be for onions. And then if you want to, you can change the font. So I'm just going to find a font that I like. Um, let's see. I'm going to use... I like Arial, so I'm going to do Arial round it. And so it makes it like this. I'm going to then go up here to rotate to 90 degrees. And then I'm going to go over here. It looks like it might be a little too big, so I'm going to size it down. I'm going to maybe reduce it from 72 to 62. And that looks good to me. And then what I'm going to do is, let me move this out of the way first. I'm going to highlight this and do combine subtract and overlap so this still highlighted what i want to see is when i hit engrave it looks like this okay so then i'm going to add in the onions and what i want to do is i want to try to center it as best as i can um so i can use the up arrows and then I can go to the left a little bit. So what I want to want to make sure it's doing is it's overlapping. So let me zoom in a little bit. Make sure it's overlapping. So it looks like it's overlapping on the top and the bottom, or I should say the left and the right sides. So then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to highlight this whole thing. And then I'm going to do combine unite. So then now it looks like this. So then if I hit engrave again, it's going to look like this when it cuts out. Of course, I'm not going to be engraving it, but I just want to see what it's going to look like when it cuts out. So I'm just going to move it over here to the side. And then what I want to do now is I want to get a picture of an onion. So I already have a picture, um, but you guys can grab one from wherever you usually get your images from. So then I'm just going to go and grab it. So this is just a picture of outline onions. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to outline. And I'll just leave it at the setting that it has on this offset. And I'm just going to push OK. Then I'm going to take this one. Move it out of the way. I'm going to take the outline and then I'm just going to pretty much line it up here until I see how I like it on here. And I'm just using the down arrow to move it down slightly. And then once I like that, then I'm going to highlight both of these and I'm going to put combine unite. So again, when I go over to engrave, it's going to show this is how it's going to look when it cuts out. Okay. So then what I want to do with this onion, or I should say the image here, if I could get it to select, I don't know why sometimes it does that.
Come on, thing. So once you select it, I'm just going to change it to a different color. So I'm just going to change it to blue here. So it does the blue layer. And then I am going to move it over here. And as you can see, um, let me move it here first. And then I'll... So that looks good to me. As you can see over here, it says this one is going to engrave. Okay. So what I did was over here, I'm going to make sure that the blue layer, which is this one, it's going to engrave it first. And then the second thing that it's going to do is it's going to cut it out because this is the order that I have it in. All right. So, um, What I want to do now is just to make sure that this is set correctly. So I'm going to go here to user defined material. I'm going to change this material to acrylic. So let's do. So once I have everything all ready to go. I'm going to go to the material and I'm going to change this to black acrylic because that's what I'm going to be using. Um, this should allow it this to, once I hit this, to basically have the settings already in place that it's going to use. So again, I want the garden marker itself with the onions to cut and then... the onions itself to be set to engrave. Okay, so next we're going to put our material onto the S1. So I'm placing in a red piece of acrylic. Make sure everything's in there all right so then I'm just going to place it in here and I'm going to use these little holders to hold it in place here's our magnetic it come it came with the um with the s1 when I purchased it all right so first of all, you're going to place your laser over your material and you're going to go in here and you're going to hit, click on the canvas itself and then you're going to get distance. So distance again is going to measure from your material to your laser. So then the next thing that I'm going to do is I am going to mark where I want this um, stake to be on here. So how you do that is you go here, you go to start marking. I'm going to do rectangle, start marking, and then you're going to put it at the top right. So I'm going to just put it up here and then I'm going to hit this button in the front. And then I'm going to go over down, and then I'm going to mark the bottom right. So I should say the top left and then the bottom right. And then the same thing, I'm going to hit this. It makes this rectangle here. I'm going to push in marking and I'm going to push done. 
And then all I have to do is just move this whole thing. So what I'm going to do to make sure I'm just moving this whole thing. To make sure I'm going to move the whole thing, I'm going to highlight. I'm going to highlight it. Make sure that it is grouped together. And then I'm going to move it into the box. So it looks like I made it too small. So I'm going to make it bigger and then I'll get back to you guys. So I just made the area bigger so that it fits inside of there. So what I want to do is I do want to ungroup this because I don't want it to um, have the same setting. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to ungroup. And then I'm just going to check everything again. I'm going to check that this says cut, which it does. I'm going to check that the onions... Say engrave, which it does. I'm going to click out of it and I'm just going to make sure that it's still set to acrylic. Okay. So then I'm going to push process and then I'm going to close the lid and I'm going to push start. And then I'm going to push start. And then I'm going to hit this one. So remember, like I said before, the first thing I put it on was engraved. And of course, it has this lining on top of it. So I don't know if it's going to do the best of engraving. I can always um, redo it, but I just wanted to see how it would do with it having the protective layer on. But as you can see, since it was a top layer, it's doing the uh, engraving first and then it'll cut it out. I'll get back to you guys once it gets to the part where it's cutting and then I'll show you the end, how long it took and then this end product. So right now it is cutting. So as you can see, the part that it's cutting out, once it's done, it kind of falls through so you know that it's cutting all the way. So we're at just over three minutes and it's pretty much almost done with the word onion. Okay, so it took over six minutes, exactly six minutes and 19 seconds to finish. All right, so I'm gonna turn off my inline command. It's kind of loud. And then we can check it out. I'm gonna try to get it out of here without moving it because like I said, I don't know if it engraved the onion that good on there. So if it didn't, I'm just gonna take the peel it off and put it back in. All right, so just getting these little pieces out. And that's super cute, look at that, you guys. That looks so good. All right, so I'm gonna see if I peel this off did it engrave with it on here or do I have to peel this off first to see if it'll engrave? So, actually what I want to do is, let me see. All right, so I got a little bit of the edge peeled back so that I can show you guys better. I feel like I need to get a little bit more lighting in here. But exactly, it doesn't look like it really engraved all that well on here. All right, so let's. All right, so as you guys can see, it barely engraved. I only tore off this top part because I'm going to try to put it back on there. I'm trying to get the focus in a little better. You can see like it barely engraved. So we're going to put it back on and say restart. Um, and I only want it to do the engraving. So let's do that. So I didn't move it, so I'm going to try to put it back in the same exact spot. And then what I'm going to do is go back to X, X tool create a space. Okay, so it says it's done, but I want to do this part again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this part that's cut. I'm going to push ignore. And then I'm just going to go process again. And this time it's only going to do the onion.
Okay, so now it's I'm trying to get you guys a good angle. So now I have it just set to just do the engraving over again. So then we'll see how it goes this time. All right, you guys, less than two minutes. It's already done doing the engraving. So now look at it. It looks great. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And like I said before, before if you guys want to make your own garden markers, where you can design whatever the um, vegetable or whatever you want to use your specific images if you want to use your specific fonts please go to my link and purchase the um, template for this garden marker again thanks for watching stay blessed take care